I, I'm, I'm going to assume that most of you haven't really worked a lot with that data, but that most of you have used data in, in some way throughout your work. And what I'm teaching my HR students is always like, well, we're all working with some data, but most of it, we look at it from an individual per perspective. So how, how is that one person working? Is he or she satisfied? How engaged they are? So we're looking at people as kind of little cells that are not connected to anything else. And that's where there's a focus on individual attributes, their education level, their knowledge that they're bringing. And we're also putting it, or we are saying, you know, people working in the HR field, we're putting, we're using the data and kind of pulling it up at the team level to make claims about how a department is doing, or then even further up at how a company is doing. But if you think about a team, you always have some people who are working very well, so high performer, and then you have low performer, and you're just taking the average of it. And you're kind of losing a lot of information about how the team is actually doing because you're just putting, you're treating everybody in a way equal and that's why you're just taking the average in order to understand team performance. What you're doing with organization network analysis is that you are keeping in mind that stuff happens between people and then when you're, when you're average performance at a team level, you're losing relational data. So with organizational network data, we're taking into account how do people interact with each other and how does that impact then performance? You know, if I have a colleague who likes to talk and keeps on distracting me, my performance will be lower simply because we're sharing a room and I'm trying the best to concentrate, but he always tells me stories. So relationships matter. In SNA, there are a couple of vocab vocabulary that you need to keep in mind. And one of his like the basic thing is we're talking about nodes and edges. And nodes are the, um, the people, or I will call them entities in your network. And the nice thing is that nodes, well, most often nodes are people. So we have people, people, networks, and that's the most common network to use. And it's also the most interesting one. But you can also have a network where it's team, team. So what's the interaction between teams? How are teams uh, connected with each other based on their workflow. And you also can create networks which are project people networks where you can then see how do the people connect to different projects and through this then see how are people connected based on who they are interacting with interacting with in a project, which then you can you can take this type of information, it's kind of just more reporting information and see is there is there a connection between who do people talk to in real life and who they should be talking based on their project membership. But the most important thing to remember from this is that a network has a node, an entity, and has an edge, so a relationship, a connection between two people. And this relationship is, um, is what we're going to be analyzing. So another thing, what we have, we have local patterns and global patterns. So local patterns is everything that happens around you. So it's a kind of very egoistic point of view. It's a, I'm at the center and you want to know with who am I connected and um, am I powerful thanks to my connections, yes or no. So the point here, what, what you can see with the local pattern, you have a focal actor or focal person and you look at um, the connection that person has and that gives you a certain type of information. On the other side, you can have the global pattern, which is taking everything into account, so the whole web of relationships, and not just one person, but the people that one person is connected to and the people that, the people that who are connected to that person. So you get this kind of, um, these steps that are further, further away. And for those, you know, you know there, there's this um, research done a couple of years ago on uh, six degrees of Kevin Bacon, kind of everybody is connected by six degrees to this actor, Kevin Bacon, and that's ONA. So it's, um, it's six steps away from Kevin ba ba Bacon. Um, so these are the local and the global patterns. So with the nodes and the edges and the local and the global patterns, that's the basic about ONA. 